Hi, you guys. It is now Tuesday. Tuesday. Wait, Tuesday. And y'all, excuse the nappiness. My heart will be nappy into September the 28th. And so I retwist it because I don't want to retwist it now. And then I can't retwist it on the day that I'm supposed to be getting married. We start talking to a couple counselor, a marriage counselor yesterday. It feel good to talk because I was like, are you supposed to be scared? And he was like, huh? I was like, yeah, I know how I talk. I'm like, are you supposed to be scared? Is it okay? He was like, yes, it's okay for you to be scared. That's okay. Yeah, he proper. I had, It's okay for us to be scared. But he was like, yeah, it's okay for you to be scared. Especially like knowing your situation and what you're going through. You don't, you don't expect it. You don't know what to expect from your husband like some women they already know what to expect like okay my man already out or my man on the streets my man got a job my man taking care of family you're like you're just there so some people are nervous but yes it's okay to be scared so I'm just like lower it okay we'll see and then he was asking us about God and I was like, uh, he was like, Christina, and do you believe in God? I'm like, I believe in him. I just don't understand. I just don't understand a lot of it. Like, I don't understand the Bible at all. But, okay, he was like, how do you, how were you created? And I was like, I don't know. Like, because I really don't know. And my Mr. Webber, he he's just one of those persons who speaks his mind and don't care about what nobody say like he asked him that and he was like i feel like the bible contradicts itself i feel like i just he was like he just don't get it he was like because take this one incident in particular a little girl sitting down doing her homework and she happened to get shot in the head just sitting there doing her homework and then they say she did she has done what she was supposed to do on this earth how did she do what she was supposed to do on this earth when she's just a child and she was not doing anything wrong, but she got killed? And how come God didn't protect her from that? And he like, it's just a lot of situations he just don't get in. The uh, preacher was like, I want to help y'all understand. I'm like, that's okay. Like, we need to understand the Bible. We want to understand the Bible. We want to get it. It's just, I don't know. There's so much shit with it. And he was like, do you take responsibility for your actions and what led you to jail? He like, yes, I take full. Now that I'm grown and I realize what the fuck I was doing, yes, I take full responsibilities for my actions. I'm a grown-ass man. And I was like, ah, that's my handsome man. Like, just hearing him say stuff like that, like, ain't nobody else put you in them shoes. Like, ain't nobody else walked down the street with you. You did all of that alone. You chose to sell drugs. You chose to do whatever it is you did that led you to prison. So I'm just thankful that he's taking responsibility for that. And he ain't like, oh, well, I did it because that person told me to do it. Like, he's taking full responsibility for it. But with that being said, throw back moment. Throw back moment. Throw back moment, moment. Throw back moment. Throw back moment, moment, throw back moment, throw back moment, moment, throw back moment, what, what, check, look at this, check, look at this, y'all know my extra ass, but, throw back moment, how can I start this throw back moment off, okay, it all kind of started when I was like 11, yeah, and I was staying, me and my mom and I was staying on Grand and Triple Wild. It started with, like, a slap here and there. And then it progressed to, like, a punch. Then it progressed to the disrespectfulness. And then it just went down here from there. Let me tell you a couple incidents. This is how it all starts out. Mine walks out the door. I'm like, okay. I'm in my room sitting down watching TV because our beds was on the floor. We had just mattresses and they was on the floor and our TV was on this little stand thing. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there watching TV 
and I come in, I mean, I'm sitting there and someone walks in the door and it's like a, and I'm like, what the fuck? You stupid, dumbass bitch. Why the fuck would you do that with your dumb ass? You just stupid. You get on my motherfucking nerves with your dumb dude. Oh, I hate you, bitch. What the fuck you say to me? Bitch, get your ass over her. Bing, 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 bing. I'm like, stop. Stop, bitch, stop. I'm going to kick your motherfucking ass. You stupid ass bitch. What? Stop. I'm getting my hair pulled. And I, back then, it was braids. Because I was braiding my own hair. It was braids. I'm getting my hair pulled. I'm getting dragged. And it was a lot of them. And I'm getting dragged, like dragged. And this was an everyday constant thing. Every day. Me and my sister. Every day. And I'm fighting back because I'm like, bitch, I'm tired of y'all. I'm so tired of y'all, you stupid, dumb, funky feet ass, bitch ass dicks. Bitch, when you moving, you get on my motherfucking ass with your dumb ass. I hate you, bitch. When you gonna die? Bitch, I'll shoot you in your motherfucking head right now, you stupid bitch. Bitch, fuck you. Fuck your mama. Fuck your daddy. Fuck all y'all. Bitch, fuck you. Fuck my mama. All right. I'm just sitting there chilling again. It died down a little bit. Bink. I'm like, what the fuck? Bink, 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 bink. Pulling my hair again. Bink, 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 bink. Bitch, you remember that, that shit you said? I ain't forgot about none of that shit. Bitch, you said all that shit. I remember that, you stupid ass bitch. Bitch, I'm finna beat the fuck out of you. I'm like, you dumb bitch. Fuck you. This is the everyday. Everyday thing. Every single day. To... It, it was every day. I can't even say to nothing. I can't even say until I was 16. I can't say until I was 17. I can say it's, it got a little easier as we got older. A little easier. Yeah, just a tad bit easier when I got older. But the level of disrespect, that shit still going on there. Well, they ain't, they ain't they disrespectful no more because I'm grown and they know I bop the fuck out of there. But when I was, I think it stopped, I'd say like 18, 19. Nah, I wouldn't even say 19. I'd say like 21 when I, my mama put me out of her house. <laughs> That's when it stopped. And where did it come from? My stepbrothers. I hated them bitches. <laughs> I hated them. It was World War Three in our house all the time all the time like we constantly fought so fucking much like they used to beat our ass like i like you funky feet bitches y'all hella dirty with y'all stinking asses y'all funky y'all need to go y'all mama need to buy y'all some fucking shoes with her dirty ass nasty ass bitch i got my ass beef for calling mama bitch <laughs> i get my ass beef for calling them dirty i got my ass beef for calling mama bitch it was horrible y'all because we stayed on belt and yeah, I know the West Side apartments, they some big ass apartments. You got your little tiny room, you got your living room, you got your dining room, you got the rooms in the back or wherever the case may be. That's how our house was set up. And we had this long ass, you had to walk up the stairs, we had this long ass hallway that led to the back where my mama room was and the kitchen and the bathroom was. And I got drugged through that whole entire hallway and they stopped at the kitchen and left me there and I had to get up. <laughs> and pain, talking about pain. Imagine getting punched in your thighs like 12 times. It was Damon, Hoy, Chris, Lil Willie. Non-stop. Four niggas getting our ass beat. Me and my, it was just me and my sister constantly getting our ass beat. But they was like, y'all y'all got some mouths on y'all. And we gonna beat the fuck out of y'all because y'all forever getting smart and saying stupid shit. I'm like, bitch, I can say whatever the fuck I want to say. You ain't my motherfucking daddy, you stupid ass bitch. Oh. You can't? Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? I had so many frogs in my fucking arms and legs and sides. Now we used to get our ass beat. It was like, when I say it was rough, it used to be so rough in that house. Every house, like, it started, I'm telling, I kid you not, it started from 11 when we first met the bitches. And we just been getting our ass beat ever since then. But. Now we're grown, and that's more of a brother sister relationship. Cause now they know, like I protect my brother. <laughs> we went to the pink slip, the nastiest 
strip club ever. I would never, ever, 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 ever in a million years go back to the pink slip. That's just not my cup of tea. Like, they had, like, old-ass general dollar bags and shit there putting their money in. Like, old-ass general dollar bags, y'all. Y'all couldn't even have no brand-new snooks bags? Ew. That's what I was thinking. But my, <laughs> I was extra drunk. And my brother had got into a fight instantly. The only thing, and his girlfriend, my cousin Keisha, his girlfriend was there. My cousin Danielle was there. His brother, Chris, Damon, Hoy, all, nah, Hoy wasn't there. Damon wasn't there, neither. It was just me, Chris, Will, and his homeboys. All of us was there. Girl, I instantly grabbed my brother, like, not thinking. I just, I knew to grab my brother and protect him and be behind him. And I was getting him about it. I'm like, nah, because ain't nobody finna put their hands so drunk in a motherfucker hat holding his shirt. No, bitch, we going this way. I don't know which way you going, but we're going this way. Get your ass up out of here. The bounce like, get him the fuck up out of here. Get his ass out of here. I'm finna put y'all the fuck out. Get his ass out of here. I'm like, Will, let's go. Let's go. Holding his hand. Like, bro, let's go. Where Chris at? Me and him trying to find Chris. No, Chris, Will, let's go. No, I gotta protect my motherfucking brother. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Y'all know how it be when you drink. You think you can fight the world. <laughs> That's how it was. Well, nobody finna put their hands on my brother. And I don't care. <laughs> and that's how it was. I saw dude fall. I saw my brother. And I instantly, like, just grabbed him. Get your ass off of her, bitch. But that was my throwback on me. I got to go clock in. I'm doing this video before I went to work. But let me go clock in. And I don't want to be getting all that overtime on him. So I make it to work hella early now. But that was my throwback moment. Yeah, I know I go on about bullshit. Bullshit. One day I'm gonna talk about some interesting things that be really running through my brain. Hold on, let me tell y'all this before we go. Y'all ain't gonna give a fuck because I did a video about this anyways, but I'm gonna keep on doing videos about it. So I took my um uh, I took my child care my child care papers down to re-evaluate for child care in my uh ch paycheck stubs so i'm like damn i'm gonna lose my food stamps child care finna go up i'm doing more than you bitches that sitting at home on your ass who getting free day care free food stamps free week free every fucking thing yeah i bitch just sitting there but y'all gonna make it harder for me my day went up to 325 a day and i still have to pay 60 dollars for the van so when y'all be thinking oh this bitch don't got rent this bitch paid her rent all the way up for six months until I move. And I still have so many other bills on top of bills. Daycare is damn near $300 a month. Like, it's rough out here. So I'm just sitting there like, when I don't have my come up? Like, what the fuck? Why can't I be a real for a bitch? Why can't I just sit there and do shit? Not go to school and I want to do nothing but steady having fucking kids. So me and my sister was talking about it yesterday. And I was just like, man, that's just stupid as fuck. Like, why not help the people that you see that wants to do stuff? Stop helping these bum-ass bitches that's just sitting on their ass doing nothing. Y'all are stuck in this fucking bubble, you dumb-ass hoes. When the fuck y'all gonna get up and realize, like, don't nobody want to be a welfare recipient? Like, okay, food steps. I, they finna cut my shit all the way down. Just cause what you make twelve dollars. You don't need you make twelve dollars an hour. You don't need that. When you make more money, you get more bills. Everybody know that. And it's not because you trying to live this extra lifestyle. No. Shit was already real. Shit just got even realer. Like it's more to it. But you wear for bitches, don't do shit. Y'all get on my motherfucking nerves with y'all dusty ass. I wa I was going through the peabodies. And like twenty of them bitches just had on true religions and rocks and I'm like how? I'm talking on the phone with my friend. I'm like, how the fuck these bitches got on true religion jeans? She like, bitch, you know, because they got booze stuff. What the fuck? Bitches, y'all need to get it together. But that's it. Talk to you guys later for my time right now because this phone gets stupid as fuck. But talk to you guys later. Bye.